Hello, my name is Warsama Yusuf. I'm doing an ethnographic research project for Writing 205. I have two members of the Syracuse University men's soccer team, and I'd like you guys to just say something about yourselves and uh, like your name and position. Um, I'm Mark Brody. Um, I'm a sophomore, and I play midfield for the soccer team. Um, my name is Ryan Tesla. I'm also a sophomore, number 18, play outside back. Okay. Um, my guiding question for my ethnographic research project is how does the grueling practice and workout schedule for the men's university soccer team, men's Syracuse University soccer team, especially during spring season, affect your ability to do all your schoolwork? How does that, uh, how does your pack schedules? Okay. I'll start off. Um, yeah, it's de it definitely takes a huge toll on your schoolwork. I mean, out during our spring season, we have practices ranging from 6 a.m. to 7.30, so you know, um, you have to go to bed at a reasonable time around like 11 to perform and practice at your um, best. And, you know, you have, you only have a certain amount of hours in the day to do your schoolwork. I mean, you have your classes, so after class, you don't have that much time. You have your study hall hours, you have your tutoring hours, but, you know, it definitely sucks, especially with um, our practice schedule. It's a lot different than the fall when um, we had practice at 3.30 in the afternoon, you can get all your work done. But um, it's a lot different now. How many days a week do you guys have practice? Um, six. Six, six out of seven days. Six yeah. out of seven days. So weekends are pretty much booked up too, which, um, you know, we have a reward like every once a week on Saturday where we go out and just get as retarded as possible, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming you mean going parties, not actually getting... Uh, not retarded a little, but all right. <laughs> no, no. All right. Um. So, Mark, this is your uh, second year on the team. Um. Do you feel that this spring season is any different than last season, or? Um. Yeah, definitely. I feel uh, this spring season has been actually a little bit easier. Um. Compared to last spring, last spring was um pretty stressful. I didn't get much work done at all. Uh, did a lot of napping, a lot of missing of classes, but um, actually the earlier the earlier practices this this semester have been uh, easier easier to do your work around. Even though you gotta get to sleep early, um, right after practice you just go straight to class. You're already up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It's, it hasn't been that bad. Okay. Um... So are you, do you guys think that even with your early morning practice schedule, your workout schedule, you're able to get all your work done in it? And if you guys aren't, like, what do you usually, what does that usually entail with having to talk to professors about it and, or extensions and stuff like that? Um, yeah, I mean, we make a lot of excuses. Yeah, I mean, with the early practices right after, you're usually awake for about an hour until you just want to crash. So a lot of the times you just end up skipping your classes. Or falling, or falling asleep in or class. Falling asleep. Yeah, I don't know which ones were skipping it or falling asleep in class, but um, yeah, definitely a lot of emails go out to the teachers, and they kind of have an idea with what you're going through, but um, yeah, you do the best you can. You have to because you have to maintain that GPA to be eligible, and you know. Yeah, there's a lot of times that uh, you're emailing teachers about being sick when you're really not too sick. Just, just so you can get a rest. Just so you can just get so you a break. Just because just so you can get some rest. It's just a huge toll on your body. You're just burnt out with all the hours. Yeah. And uh, how different do you feel uh, your lives are as athletes on this campus compared to regular students that don't have to get up early and do uh, mm -hmm. practice stuff like that? I think uh, <clears throat> it's a real, it's a real difficult for us. Like thinking about it, um, most students, most regular students, normal. Like regular students not don't realize, athletes. not yeah. athletes don't realize like how tough we have it. You know what I mean? They they take they think that like like we're here on on money like scholarship yeah. money like free ride and like we didn't work for it but like every single day we work for it like all we get every year is one credit for for having soccer on our schedule which is an everyday thing. So yeah, I think uh, the difference between non athletes and athletes is um, non athletes you can pretty much just like live the way you want to live like how you would at home like here for an athlete it's like you're basically told to live it's like here's your schedule this is what you're doing every day base, like, base your classes around this this certain schedule and most of the time you can't get the classes you want to take which means you have to drop classes go down credits and then try to catch up later just to 
because you can't do that amount of you can't do that much work in the spring and it sucks but so you yeah. feel like your your uh, school schedule is always based around your athletic schedule yeah it's kind of, I would say it's more almost so in like the fall. more so in the fall yeah during your season yeah, yeah it's almost like season. soccer comes first soccer comes first which is which I love because that's what I want to do yeah. but um yeah it definitely has its um negatives like um like how most of us have no Friday classes, which sounds awesome, but we're traveling on Fridays because we have games on Saturday. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like when it seems like our schedules are easy, it's really not because of all the pregame, pregame meals, uh, recovery sessions after games, stuff like that. It's it's not it's not easy. Right. Um, how do professors uh, usually feel about you um, talking about them for? With uh, not that you always are not able to get your schoolwork done, but the slight chance that it happens, like, do our professors usually uh, forgiving because they feel sympathetic uh, through the things you go to, or do some of them give you a hard time saying that you're a student? Like, I don't want to hear any excuses and stuff like that. Like, uh, most of the times, it pre- I think it all depends on the, who you have as a teacher. Mm-hmm. I mean, most teachers are really lenient with games, obviously, because you can't miss a game. Mm-hmm. But um. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't really had much uh, of an issue with any teachers getting mad at me for um, missing work. Missing work, because as long as you get it done at a certain time, if not, then you didn't do it, and it will affect your grade. They mm-hmm. don't care. I mean, I mean, I've had some trouble. I've had some trouble with some teachers. Where uh, um, first semester of my freshman year, I took a freshman forum, which like everyone takes, and I ended up getting a D plus. Um, which is like impossible to do, but it was because I missed so many classes because it was on a Friday and I had games on Saturday, so we were traveling and she wasn't too sympathetic about it. And it was one of those, like I had to go to class, but I couldn't make it, so. And then, then there's some teachers like uh, Sarah Short, nutrition, mm-hmm. who is like real lenient about it. Like she understands what athletes go through and like, it's good, it's good to have a teacher like that. All right, uh, do you think, so you believe that all teachers should show more sympathy towards athletes because unless they are athletes in college themselves, they also don't know what you guys have to go to go through. That yeah, I think it depends what it's for. I mean, if you're met, if you email them and say like, I practice, they, I, they'd be like, you should be here. Mm-hmm. Like, there's no excuse. Like, this is the time of the class. You're not going to like, like stop doing things because you have practice, but you know, for games, like, yeah, like, that's all right. Just make up the work. Okay. Um, back to uh, your practice schedule. Um, I just wanted to talk more about like the like the physical and like mental toll that you think your practices uh, give on you uh, throughout throughout the week and how that affects your uh, school it's work. It's this. Um, yeah, I mean, it sucks with our uh, with our trainer Big Dan when it comes to. Um, when it comes to morning sessions with him, yeah, you, there's no, he takes no bullshit. And uh, basically, if you piss him off, you're going to do extra stuff. If not, you're still doing a ton of stuff. And usually it ends up with a puke session at the end yeah, of... It's, uh, it's pretty much like a job. It's a, yeah. Like if you don't come prepared, like you're, gonna, you're just going to fail miserably. And failing miserably is getting sick. And that's on top of failing miserably in athletics and then you have school and, right, that. and yeah. it's like it's like you don't want to you'd rather have you'd rather fail a test than have like a bad practice like that's what it comes down to right? mentality yeah that it, it is i mean it sounds terrible because you're here to be a student first but it's that's reality. just the way we yeah that's, that's it's that's in our it. it's in our parents mentality too. yeah yeah all right how about like my uh like my dad my dad would rather me have a have a real good game yeah. then then uh because he knows like i mean like we don't like we're not stupid kids but we don't we don't belong here yeah academically you we, know what i mean i know for me and mark like we want our futures to be soccer mm-hmm. like that's kind of like right now we feel that we're majoring in soccer mm-hmm. and um we're trying so hard to not like to let that fail that we would just want to keep succeeding in the sport mm-hmm. and um where school is just like a 
something else that we're that so we're, we're secondary. Se- yeah, Even kind though. of kind of secondary, but it's still it's it's I just mean, we more stress. Try. We it's don't. more stress on the plate. You know what I mean? Yeah. How about uh, your parents? Do they uh, I feel that, anything like more? Yeah, I mean, both my parents are school teachers, so they know the importance of school. My dad was also a Division One soccer player, so he knows the deal. Um, I mean, it's tough. He knows how hard it is, how much of a balance it is, but um, yeah, they know. They know as long as I try my hardest. So I'm sure they gave you a lot of encouragement yeah, throughout of the encouragement. throughout the year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's the only I have for questions. Uh, if you guys have anything else you want to talk about, like uh, you know, the relationship between soccer and school that uh, you think I haven't touched upon. Anything else? Um, we're good. Yeah, I think that's about it. That's about it. Okay. Um, thank you for uh, doing this project with me today. And uh, I'm sure you guys will see the finished product. So thank you. Can't wait a lot.